Hello there, my name is Jason Luttrell from Kinetic Marketing Systems and I wanted to introduce you to your new system. So this is a very, very powerful sales and marketing ecosystem um, that is heavily, heavily reliant on automation. So we, we automate everything that can possibly be automated um, in the brand building process, whether you're a consultant, a restaurant, or a brand or a um, CPG brand. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to app.downtownkinetic.com uh, and uh, or clients. Uh, or clients.downtownkinetic.com and you are going to see this login screen. Um, use the same login that you uh, that you were sent, or, or um, if it's uh, if we haven't added you to the system yet, then uh, go ahead and uh, put your work email address in here, and then try your first name capital letter for in your first name and then one two three four five dollar sign, um, and that means that I probably set up your uh, your user for you. <clears throat> So uh, click sign in and then you're gonna get um, something like this. We're gonna go back over here and see your dashboard. Uh, so this is the, probably the first thing that you're gonna see. Uh, just to give you a broad over overview, we're gonna, you're not gonna see a lot of this stuff because a lot of this stuff has permissions that you probably don't have. Uh, it's not because we think you're stupid, it's because um, the system is so complex and so comprehensive that we just don't want you to get overwhelmed and confused. Uh, but this is a naked account. So this is uh, basically has just the workflow automations that we set up for you. So it's not gonna have any customer data or any of that stuff but your system probably has um, a lot of customer data, um, a lot of pipelines uh, set up already. Uh, please don't mess with that yet uh, because uh, we um, there's some compliance stuff that we have to go through and we also have to make sure that, um, that you uh, know what you're doing. If you are the company admin, so here are the first couple steps that you need to do as the company admin. Um, if you are using Google My Business, then this is the way to do it. Um, if you need to get the app, the, the lead connector app, then this, you click this link and it'll text you a link to, uh, to, to get that to you. Um, and uh, if you are using Instagram or Facebook messaging or marketing, or if you're paying for media, then connect your account, your meta account right here. Um, and then you will, you will be able to start receiving DMs um, uh, through the system. Um, here's a chat widget. It's a very powerful feature that allows us to, um, to capture leads from the website. Um, it doesn't matter how many questions that you have answered on the website. So a lot of people just want to text you in the first place. Uh, if you're doing um, e-commerce or um, direct sales, then, uh, then you can connect your Stripe or pay up. PayPal account right here. Um, and then to add users to the system, there is no limitation to how many users you can have on the system, but um, go ahead and add them right here. And it'll just prompt you to uh, just enter their email address. They will get an email uh, saying with an invitation to the system. And then that's, that's how that works. Again, for the, uh, for the uh, business admin, so you're gonna wanna upload a logo right here. You're gonna wanna, wanna make sure that this is a, uh, the, the business name that's like the, the, the public facing business name. So you don't wanna necessarily put a D, uh, an LLC there. You wanna put the DBA. Um, and then this stuff is really important for compliance. So you have to put your uh, legal business name, uh, legal, legal categories, and then down here, you're gonna wanna put in your I, uh, EIN. Um, and all that other stuff, because um, it's going to check this stuff to make sure that we are a legitimate business, that we are sending a legitimate marketing emails. Otherwise, it'll just um, it could trigger a spam response if we don't do this right. So um, also put your legal address there um, and then all the all your uh, legal uh, information that's attached to the LLC or S Corp or C Corp, whatever it is. Um, and all that stuff has to be in there. So this is where the, this is where we're going to put your name, first name and last name. Uh, and then your email again and then your job position, whether you're CEO, CFO, whatever your role is. Um, all right, so uh, don't mess with these contact, don't mess with these settings, please. Uh, these are um, set up for a reason. Um, and uh, these are, again, for compliance to make sure, but um, this, uh, if it doesn't happen here, it's gotta happen somewhere else. So don't, don't fool around with this. Um, this is a compliance thing. Don't enable uh, campaigns or triggers. You don't want those. Um, and then definitely enable missed call text back. And if you wanna adjust the copy, what this does is it just makes sure that we text back anybody who ever calls, as that way we never miss a phone call. So this is gonna be for all users on the system. So once you log into the system with, under your unique login, um, we're gonna want you to put in, uh, so get, head over to settings and then my profile. And this is where you're gonna connect the major accounts that, that are going to integrate throughout the system. So you add your uh, profile image and then you add your first name, your last name, and then your uh, work email right there. And then this is gonna be your actual cell phone number. <clears throat> And so uh, then if you like to communicate in English or any other language, then you can change the system to uh, system wide to um, to speak to you in your language. So um, you're going to want to make sure that this is checked, enable signature on all outgoing messages. This is where the actual sales happen. Uh, this is going to go after whatever the uh, whatever the uh, copywriting that we put in in the previous emails. And we'll show you that in, in workflows very briefly. But um, all these video, uh, all these features and all these um, tools are going to have their own videos in your onboarding uh, in your onboarding system for you to learn how to do this on your own so um so uh, so our onboarding session which is tomorrow or the next day is going to be about setting the copyright and the cadence and making sure that we are um, saying the right things in the right way at the right time 
Uh, so your email signature is super important. This shows up in a lot of different places. Email is basically the hub of the system. So we want to make sure that this is done right. And this is where you're going to put your Twilio number, not your personal cell phone. Uh, this is the number that you put in here. And that's going to be based on the phone number that we have set up for you um, in this tab, in this system right here. So we're not going to go into that right now, but um, we will generate a number for you or, or for your team. And that's the number that goes right here because this number is tracked for voice, text, um, and uh, ringless, ringless voicemails. So we want to make sure that that number is in there, not your personal cell phone. Uh, you can put a logo in here and a link. Um, I wouldn't put too many logos, too many links, too many graphics because that is a spam trigger. Now, another very, very important thing for you to do is, um, is to connect your Outlook right here or your Gmail down here. Or you can actually do both, and so once this once this happens, then you're going to see um, you're going to see the ability to um, uh, for people to book things in your calendar. But more importantly, it's going to check your calendar to make sure that you're available, so that people can uh, don't double book you, and so you don't have uh, book through conflicts. So you can have a check through. You can have a check your your Gmail calendar and your Outlook calendar just to make sure that um, that you're not. Uh, uh, booking conflicting appointments. Um, so once you have your, once you have those uh, those connected, um, it's gonna we're gonna ask you for your user availability, and then this is gonna be how you individually like to have like to have uh, conversations. Uh, so if you want to have Google Meet, then this will automatically set up Google Meet links for you to um, for you to to call people via uh, Google. Um, likewise for Zoom, if you have your Zoom account connected, then it, it'll generate a unique link for that particular meeting. Um, here's where you book. Uh, this this is where you put in your available time for meetings. Uh, you know, if you want to do bank hours and you just do Monday, Monday through Friday, nine to five. Um, let's say nine to five p.m. Uh, but if this is not, um, so we're going to apply that to all days of the week. Uh, if you don't work Fridays, then you don't work Fridays. Uh, and 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 um, so this way that appointments will only be able to be booked automatically through the system from Monday through Friday, nine to five. So let's say you don't you have an admin day on Wednesdays, you don't work Wednesdays. Fine. This is how you do that. Uh, so then you just click update your availability. Now down here, once you're once you're um, Outlook and your Gmail are connected, then you're gonna it's gonna say which appointment do you want to book to. Let's uh, let's show you that. Okay, so here's my system, um, and I have an Outlook account and I have a Gmail account. Um, I even have a Zoom account too, but I don't use it. So it's gonna ask you about your primary calendar. So it's gonna say which do you want to sync to. So I, I like it to sync to my Gmail account, um, and uh, and um, you're gonna want to do one of these two things. If there are two things here, but if you only have one account connected, then it's, then you're only gonna have one option, or you're gonna want to have the option of the email address that appears there, and then you're gonna say which calendar are you gonna book appointments to through the system. So these are the different calendars that are in. Um, that are in my uh, in my personal calendar, and that's how I keep track of meetings. So anything that's booked in the system goes on this calendar. Uh, don't worry about this one; um, it's uh, you're not going to have that option. So this is how we check for conflicts. So um, this is how this is how we avoid double booking. And so what we'll do is it'll show you both of the calendars or whichever calendar you have set up in the system, and you're going to say what What do I want to check against? So these are all uh, like this is my kid's PTA basically, um, and so I don't want to book appointments when I'm already booked in it in with for those meetings and for those events. So it, uh, the, the system will not allow meetings to be booked in those times because it's checking these calendars for conflicts. Now this is a weather calendar. I don't need it to check against the weather. So I, this is my time blocking for my morning routine and stuff like that. This happens before I'm at my available time anyway. So it's not gonna be, um, so it's, 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 I don't need to check it, uh, check these calendars for conflicts. Um, go, and then you can also do that for the second calendar and it will check for both. So I don't need to, to, to block off my day for birthdays cause maybe I'm just an asshole, but, uh, I don't need to block off my day for birthdays and I don't need to block off uh, my, my days for us holidays typically. Um, and so that's how you um, set up your, your, your calendars and your account. That's the real meat and potatoes of setting up your system. Um, so the rest of the video, if you, if you want to see it, um, is going to be going through some broad overview strokes of, of the system at large. Um, but there's going to be individual videos that go through each of the features that are available to, available to you on your system. And you should be able to search um, your, uh, the database for um, if you're having a particular problem. Um, and then, uh, then I'll also show you how to get some support. So the support options right here, this is a WhatsApp group right here. And so you have a quick question, you just need a, need a quick answer. So this is a, this, you can just join this WhatsApp group real quick right here. Um, if you are um, uh, an agency admin or, or a client admin, then uh, this is gonna be where your project management is. This is where we track your onboarding status and progress and make sure that, um, that everything's getting done. We're not, uh, we're not missing anything. Um, a huge part of our business is getting reviews and case studies. So if you are so inclined, if you're, if you're like this system rules and I wanna leave this guy a good review, um, then this is, um, then this is how 
how you review the kinetic marketing system. And um, it's just dynamite bonkers for our business. So we, we, you will you will probably hear me asking for reviews quite a bit, but this is how you do it um, uh, down here on the bottom left. Now, going back to the launch pad, um, this is where you can kind of set up the bigger systems like the, the, the business critical systems, if you use those things. Um, uh, but uh, if, you're, if you're a user or if you're a rep, then you're probably not gonna need that stuff. The dashboard is where we keep track of all how many of how many leads we have in pipeline, uh, the rough cash fly value of those leads, and then also the um, the conversion rate here. So we want this number to be as high as possible because uh, that means we are closing deals like crazy. Up here, uh, this is a dialer, uh, but if um, you can also uh, so this is where you can actually dial the phone and um, and make calls from your desktop. Um, although this feature is also available on your um, iOS or Android app. So if you don't know uh, if you don't know where to find the iOS or Android app, just head over here to Launchpad and, and set, click uh, select click link, um, uh, send link, and it will send it to you. So um, up here you'll see some change logs, you'll see some updates to the system. This happens all the time. We have updates to the system all the time. Uh, so don't get uh, don't get overwhelmed by new features and new new things. Um, we'll release those and I'll and I'll put trainings together as they come out because um, there's some really cool stuff in the in, in the roadmap and I'm really excited about it. Um, so here's going to be, uh, this is your little notification. So this is where you, um, uh, I'm on like 10 accounts. So like, this is why this is so full, but you'll probably only see the stuff that's, uh, that's, uh, related to your phone number or, or, or with your account. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that all as red. Uh, so it doesn't bother me because I can see this thing from, from anywhere. Um, up here is, is your support options. Uh, and so, uh, this is for, for system support. It's not with it. These people, this is for the platform. They're not going to know anything about our automations and stuff like that. But um, if you see this, um, you might as well just go ahead and use the tech support over here. Um, and then, uh, then if it's a big problem, then we'll um, I, I can go through most problems remotely. But if it's a big problem, then we'll book an appointment and just go through it individually. Uh, over here is your account setup. Uh, this is where you log in, log out. Um, this is where I can log in as you. That's fun. Okay, I didn't realize I could do that. Um, all right, so um, so that is kind of the, the broad strokes right here. Here's the dashboard. Um, here's where your tasks are gonna live right here. Um, this is how you, um, and then over here are gonna be some graphics on on stages distribution here. I'll show you mine. Um, but that's that's where you kind of see where, um, like how many deals you have in pipeline, where, what the rough cash value is, uh, what the conversion rate is. Uh, mine, is mine is not set up because my conversion rate is way better than that. Um, but this is a kind of a bird's eye view of the funnel where people are, are staying. This is kind of where we get a visual reference of like where are people getting stuck in the sales pipeline. And this, this is also a stages distribution just to make sure that, um, that so we can see who's doing what and where. So these are my manual tasks. These are all where, where, um, where the things that I have to do manually. Um, and then these are the, um, these, these are the lead source report. So all, all the time that uh, we add um, with every lead, with every contact, we typically add some where they came from, uh, just so we can kind of keep track of that. Uh, these are all the conversations that are happening. So unread, there's nothing unread. Uh, here are the recents. Now, a lot of times when, when we send communications, we automatically mark it as read just so you don't get stressed out by unread messages. Um, so if, you are, if you're like, I, I know I just sent that guy an email, but you can't see it, then it's gonna be up here in the recents tab. Um, or if you want to star messages for follow-up or, or later, um, you know, um, I'd probably just sooner to create a task for myself, but these are all the messages for yourself. So if you're seeing too many messages that aren't relevant to you, you can hit this filter right here. Um, you can set inbound, outbound, manual or automated, um, uh, chat, assigned to, unassigned, et cetera, et cetera. Um, or you can even check out the, uh, the channel. Uh, that, 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 the, that the thing was sent. But all communication, whether it's a phone call, voicemail, Instagram, DM, Google My Business Chat, um, whatever, is all going to be in line by the contact. It's all going to be specifically um, uh, 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 in, in the system as, as a line. Now, you'll, on the right side, uh, sorry, let's go over here real quick. So you can archive conversations, but you don't really need to. Uh, so I don't really archive conversations. You can star it to, just for follow up later. You can mark it as unread, unread if you're one of those kind of people, or you can delete it. Um, uh, I would not recommend deleting it. There's unlimited data here, so it's just uh, I would not do that. So um, right here, you can see um, the contacts. Uh, an easy way to um, to see what's uh, what the contacts are in. Um, uh, so I'm just gonna clients. You can just quickly add a tag here. Uh, and I'll, I'll make a whole video about tags and, and, uh, and, and smart lists and all that stuff like that. But you can see which uh, workflows this person is in. So if, like, if for some reason they're in the wrong workflow and if they're getting two messages that aren't relevant, you can just X them out of that real quick and just kind of take them out of that workflow and they won't be in that workflow anymore. Uh, here's the, the opportunity stage that they're in. 
Um, and, uh, and you know, again, that you can click this and it'll take you to the opportunities. Um, it'll take you to the opportunities tab where this opportunity lives and, um, and, uh, and you can adjust it from there if you want. So if you want to make bigger edits to the, to the client, to the contact thing, you click this, uh, you click their, their, uh, image icon and you can, and you get a full list of the contacts details right here and you can, uh, update all this stuff right here. So, um, do, 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 do. so let's say you need to add them to a different workflow, tag, tag them in something or whatever. Um, you can add them to a workflow right here. Um, or if you have a learning management system offer, then you can put that stuff in, in right here. So, um, so this is also another really important part is sometimes people are going to say, I don't want you to contact me anymore. This is a, this is the DND. It means do not disturb. Uh, and if somebody tells you that they do not want to be contacted, um, ever again, for any reason, then you click this button right here and they will, and they will be invisible to the system. The system will not even recognize them as a contact anymore. Um, if they specifically say, stop texting me, then you can, then you can say, I don't want them to text me anymore. Uh, no, no Facebook messages, whatever. Um, so just another trick, just a trick about this with, um, with Facebook is that we can't send them messages unless they send us a message first. So, uh, there's not a whole lot of thing, uh, not, not a whole lot to worry about there. So over here is, um, this is where we see the activity of that, of, of this particular user. So we can see if they went to a landing page, um, we can see that kind of the activity that they have, um, and, uh, and, and what they've done. Um, so here's a task list for this particular cust uh, for this particular client. Uh, and then you can always add a new, a new task and then you can assign it to yourself, assign it to somebody else. Um, assign a date to it, um, and then just save that. And then if you have a task that's assigned to a, a particular user, um, then uh, that task will show up in their manual actions task list. And then, um, and then you can keep track of whether or not that was done. Uh, notes are great. Um, the system is going to automatically generate a lot of notes for the clients based on which, uh, on where their pipeline stage is. Um, but um, I'll walk you through all that in a separate video. Um, this is an important one. If you want to set up a V, uh, uh, if you want to set up a, um, an appointment with them, you can always add a new appointment for them right here. Um, and then this will, um, once you, uh, booked, uh, once you book them into a, a calendar, so you pick which, which calendar you, they, uh, they get booked in, um, then you pick the time, uh, and these times will typically be when, um, when you're is available to you, um, in, in all your other settings. So this is where you pick the date and the time. Um, if you have, if you click custom, then it will go outside of the times that you said that you wouldn't do. Uh, you can pick any time that you want, but otherwise it will only allow you to book times that are in your, um, that are, that are available in your system. So these are all the, you know, so that, that's it. If you need guests that are, uh, uh, if you need guests, um, on the, on the call or the, or the, the chat, whatever it is, then this is where you can add them. Um, and then this is where you add the title. So I typically do like, you know, Ezra and Jason or whatever. Uh, here's some additional preferences right here uh, and then you book an appointment so once you hit this button then they're going to get an email confirmation so uh, you got to be careful with that review of the opportunities uh, this is where we uh, keep track of all of, of all of our deals and pipeline uh, this is my pipeline for, for the connect marketing system yes i eat my own dog food um, and so what we do is we just make sure that um that everything everybody is is uh is in the system that is that needs to be and that we are uh, following up where, where we need to and then we can also do a lot of actions directly from the from the opportunity card uh, this is how you open up this contact um, and then uh, and then uh, this is how you, you can change their, their their pipeline. So what happens is, is once they've matriculated through this pipeline, uh, then they move on to a different pipeline, which is the um, which is the uh, client management pipeline. So yours is going to look a little little bit differently than this. Um, and uh, so these are all these are all my clients right here. And so what's ha what's happening is, is um, uh, this is how I keep track of diff the different stages. Now, if you're in CPG, we're going to want to update these to make sure that it's like, did we offer a menu placement? Did we offer um, a staff training? Did we offer did we do distributor onboarding? Did we do all that stuff? Uh, so it, this can be customized for whatever you want. Uh, but this is my kind of client uh, client pipeline. Um, and I hope I never see you here, which is which is the offboarding section. Uh, if you're doing email marketing, then this is where, you know, uh, if you're doing marketing in general, um, so this is where we do the social media posting, um, and scheduling. Uh, this is a great way to, um, this is a really great way to, uh, to just, uh, streamline your workflow and get your stuff done a really fast way ahead of you. Uh, if you have, um, I've preloaded into your account, some email, um, some email, uh, uh, templates. So these are formatted emails, just like you would find with, with MailChimp. They'll, they'll do definitely a separate video on this. Um, and then, uh, these were templates. Templates are a really cool feature that I wish more people would use, uh, but they're canned responses. And what you can do is you can use, uh, merge tags in these canned responses. So let's go ahead and make one of these. Uh, I'll, ma I'll make a whole separate video for this, but, but you can add, uh, a merge tag for the contact name 
and then uh, and then it'll insert that contact's first name, um, and that way um, you know you don't have to write out the same message that you always do. So I you know the if you have more of these, the more efficient that you're going to be. But you can do it for text messages and emails, um, and then in the email builder you can just load in um, you can just load in. Uh, uh, whichever template you want. So you're not going to, don't worry about the trigger links. Um, I'll do a separate video on affiliate manager uh, automation. This is where all the magic happens. This is the, this is all the stuff that's preloaded into your, um, into your, uh, um, into your system. Uh, if you don't have it already, then check this out. There's, there's going to be a chat GPT integration where you get to do all kinds of fun stuff with chat GPT up to and including automated newsletters and, and blah, 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 blah. But we're not going to touch any of this stuff right now because um, you guys don't know what you're doing just yet. But hopefully we'll get to you, get you to a point where you can um, set up your own workflows and set up your own automations and, and uh, do some really cool stuff. Um, here's content AI. So this is um, deeply embedded in, in the system is, is um, the ability to um, write copywriting, to write copy in the system. Uh, and that's, um, uh, so uh, that will be coming out soon. So uh, also uh, here's the sites if you have this feature. Um, and this is where we have pre-built web sites. Uh, we have, we use custom values quite a bit, uh, which means that we can um, in, insert your insert. Um, uh, it's like a merge tag. So you say like, here's the custom value for this thing. Um, and then this is what word I want it to say, or this is the URL that I want it to say, or this is the image that I want it to, to display. And so you'll see those tags everywhere, uh, but we'll get into that in a separate video. Memberships, if you have this feature, this is a learning management system. So this is um, what you've been added to that, that is going to go through all of your, um, all, all the different modules on your system to uh, teach you how to use the different features and benefits and and, um, and systems. So you'll get this pretty soon if you haven't gotten it already. Um, and then this is a kind of a basic software onboarding to kind of give you a, um, a an overview of the system. Um, so reputation management, this is for um, it, this is for asking for reviews on Google and, and, and Facebook. Um, this is a really good important feature for especially my restaurant clients. Uh, if you're the admin of the agency, that you're going to be spending a lot of time in reporting. Um, and this is going to be um, agent reporting is, is where you can see everybody on the team and how well they're doing and how they're how well they're stacking up to get to everybody else. So this is a really cool feature. Um, so if you're all, also for the agency admin, this is the project management and this is going to uh, send you to Nifty, uh, which is um, how we um, which is how we uh, make sure that everything gets done with the onboarding. Um, and making sure that nothing falls through the cracks. So let's just take a look at that. This is kind of a broad overview of how that looks. So um, you've probably already gotten a login from Nifty and maybe a hundred emails from it. So again, here's the tech support. So if you have a question, a quick question, you just need to answer real quickly, then uh, this is how you get that. Um, and then again, here's the reviews. So uh, reviews are like gold for me. So if, um, if you, uh, if you like this onboarding, if you like this session, then uh, be sure to leave a review. Um, I will be asking more than a couple times because they're so, so, so important for my business. Um, I need the case study. So uh, I'm probably going to ask you if it's 150 times. And then here's more settings if you have them down here, um, uh, up to including the stuff that we talked about in the very beginning. I'm not going to go through all this stuff, but um, that's it. This is the Kinetic Marketing System. I'm excited to work with you. And there's um, so, so many fun things that we're going to do. I'm excited to help you build your business. And uh, let's go.